Okay, let's talk about a crosstab query in MUMS. This would be query E. Um, as you know, I didn't have those named right, but I fixed them. I fixed my query, so E is missing. So I'm going to create a crosstab query. So crosstab queries are a little bit different. Um, if you have large amounts of information and you're trying to organize it in different ways, sometimes cross-tab queries help. We're talking about the customer table here. And the book says create a quest uh, parameter, I mean create a cross-tab query that totals the customer's balance amounts by postal code. So balance amounts, so um, I, I'm taking it its balance and it's the customer name, I mean the postal code and supervisor. So we need these three. We need postal code, we need balance and supervisor number. So the first choice we have to make is which field value do you want as your row heading? So what's going to go here? And it doesn't really tell us if it's the supervisor or the postal code. So I'm just going to start with postal code and send that over and say next. And then it, what do you want as your column headings? So what it goes here. So we have postal code, now we need supervisor number. And then next. And now in here, what do we want um, our calculations to be? So what do you want calculated? And we want balances. And we're going to sum up the balance. Not average or count, but just sum. Next. So well, I'll just leave it as customer cross tab one. Um, I named it differently and I'll show you that in a second. So when we view it, here we're viewing the total balance. And here's our supervisors. So each supervisor has a number and here's the total balance. Here's our postal code. So I didn't know whether it wanted us to do it this way by postal code or by supervisor. So I did it both ways. So I put my supervisor as my row and my postal code as my columns in this one. So here's my supervisor and here's my postal codes or zip codes. So to me, and here's postal code, and that's the one I just created here. Postal codes, supervisor, postal codes. It doesn't matter to me which way you do it but you should choose one and do it that way. Um, they're both, really, they should be the same. Supervisor 26 should have a balance, if we added those up, of 2485. I'm not going to do it, but I'm hoping that would equal 2485. Uh, 2020, yeah, it might. Um, well, it should. Okay, so do it one way or the other. Pick one, the one that makes most sense to you, that's fine. And you're going to name it um, query E. Now, this it automatically wants to call it um, crosstab query. So you would have to do a file save as, as an object, and you're going to name it as query E. Query E. Now, when you do this, a crosstab query, as you'll notice, the crosstab query has a different look to it than a regular query. So this is the um, query design, and these are the crosstab queries. So you instantly know it's a crosstab. Oh, look it, I've made it a whole bunch of times. So I can get rid of that and get rid of that. All right. So the other thing I want to talk about in this shorter video is the using the totals row or the statistical row. So I'm just going to um, create a query in design view and get back into the design view and I'm going to do it for the customers because there's more data in that um, table. So let me close this and I'm going to pull up my totals row here. And this totals row you learned in your book has different ways to um, automatically sum, average, count, those kind of things. So let's have, and, and you have to be careful in this, uh, using these statistics, because this is the common error I see. The book will say, um, 
show the balance for all customers. So people will go customer number, customer name, balance, and they'll um, use their totals row to do the sum. Okay. So the sum of all customers should be one number, not 15, because this customer only has one number. Well, what's the sum of 765? 765. What's the average of this one number, that? What's the minimum of this one number? What's the maximum? So when you're using these statistical rows or uh, this total row, don't add extra information. If you want the sum of the balance for all customers, then you just want the balance with the sum. That is one number. All of your customers together equal 8,000. Don't add extra fields in there. Now, I could add amount paid, and I could say I want the average of the amount paid because maybe I want to somehow get the average up to $1,000 for each customer. So I have some goal for my uh, supervisors to um, increase their sales or whatever it is we, we do in our company. Now, the one thing you can add is you could add to this query the supervisor number because each supervisor has more than one customer. So I can sum up all of his customers. I can average all of this person's amount paid. So I'm going to run it. So there's three supervisors, but we have 15 customers. So the average amount for our supervisor 26 is 500 and 29 is 900. Ooh, I say, hmm, how can I get, can I get 29 to mentor 26 to get that amount up? And the sum of the balance, we can see 29 is doing pretty well. So you can add the extra fields if it doesn't interrupt the sum or the statistics that you're doing. Does it have more than one, uh, I don't even know how to say that. If it has more than one customer, or in this case it's a customer, um, but don't add the fields if there's only one, if the one customer pays one balance. You don't need a statistic on that one number. All right, so just keep that in mind as you're going through your other two databases. You don't have to do this for mom, so I'm gonna close this and not save it. All right, so this is the end of this, um, uh, the, this query video.